as developers, there's nothing we like more than an amazing activity that delights and entertains our users. But sadly, initializing all the subsystems, resources, and layouts to provide that experience takes a bit of time and memory, meaning the uh, users are going to have to wait for their transcendent experience. <laughs> My name is Colt McCandless, and one of the most important things that you can do for the health and performance perception of your application is optimizing the performance of loading your activities. Uh, remember, when the user launches your app, they'll be shown a start window while your app is loading and getting ready to display. Now, most of the time, if your user is spending too much time staring at the screen, the problem is most likely to be in the creation of your main activity. I mean, a bunch of stuff happens here. Uh, you're setting the theme data, inflating view hierarchies, loading bitmaps, deserializing network fetches, writing user preferences, you know, all the stuff you need to display your activity. But if you're not careful, each of these little operations can fall into their own performance pitfalls. Uh, things like multiple garbage collection events, or waiting to inflate views, or blocking on network requests. All things which can delay the time it takes for the first pixel to be shown to the user. So, if you'd like to streamline your activity loading to give users the best experience possible, here's what you need to do. First, figure out if you actually have a problem, which you can do with the method tracing tool. This will give you a snapshot of your call stack and let you visually see what functions are taking longer than others. If the uh, on create function of your activity is taking longer than 16 to 30 milliseconds, then it's worth exploring more to see what might be causing the delay. And this can be done by inserting trace commands at various parts of your code. Uh, when you do this, the timing between the begin section and end sections will be logged and then displayed in your SysTrace captures so that you can see more information about about where your time is going. Now, if you found that your load time is taking too long, hopefully uh, you've been able to narrow it down using the inline tracing code. If not, here's a couple of common problems and how to address them. Firstly, the most common problem we see with slow activity loads has to be the time it takes to inflate a view hierarchy. Uh, see, the larger your hierarchy, the more time it's taken to inflate it, and the more bitmaps or resources it requires to load also adds to it loads time. As such, anything you can do to flatten the hierarchy, reduce complexity, or stub out portions that aren't visible right now will help to reduce the time spent doing this work at the creation time of your activity. Secondly, try to structure your code to rely on lazy loading and async processing as much as possible. Uh, commonly, the on create method of your activity becomes a junk drawer for all sorts of different initialization routines. Some of those things do need to happen right now. Others can be delayed until later. Uh, this includes things like doing initial minimal loading of your hierarchy, uh, loading all of your initial images in an async fashion, and waiting to initialize heavy subsystems until they are absolutely needed. Really, uh, the lazier you can make the creation and loading of your activity, the better your performance will be. But that doesn't mean you need to be lazy about the rest of your application performance, which is why you should check out the rest of the Android Performance Patterns videos. And don't forget to join our Google Plus community too. So keep calm, profile your code, and always remember, Perf matters.